Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Security Summit warns tax pros of evolving email and cloud-based schemes to steal taxpayer data. The Security Summit. Like the new Justice League, saving the world. They also recently put a sign next to the pool, warning us, water's wet. And one by the toilet, letting us know that if you drop anything in there, you may forever lose that crap. So be careful out there. But first, an attempt at a joke. Am I the only one noticing a fairly large spike in women becoming men these days? So I've noticed. And it seems to be a disproportionately greater percent amongst famous people. Uh, I'm famous. That's not- And younger people, who are probably just following the famous people. I learned it by watching you! Might there be some kind of social benefit prompting this phenomenon? Can she see it? Yeah, she's trying to eat it. She wants it. She wants the carrot! <laughs> she wants the carrot! Or is it really solely biological? I was born this way. Hooray. It seems a little unusual, doesn't it? All these women suddenly becoming men. Dude, it's very unusual. Well, Jimmy's very unusual. <laughs> I mean, it just seems, so oh, I don't know, ridiculous. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Don't you think? All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, that's what I heard. This city hall. Just a little bit. Well, you can believe, Mr. Pecker. My name is Peck. Ridiculous. Or you could accept the fact that this city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. But whatever. IR 2022-143 July 26, 2022, Washington. As part of a special security summit series, the Internal Revenue Service, state tax agency, and nation's tax industry warn tax professionals to beware of evolving scams designed to steal client data. So the scammers are at it again, targeting the tax professional to steal data, which is horrible because as we all know, tax professionals are like the salt of the earth, just trying to save the world through tax preparation. And they're being targeted here, possibly due in part to tax data becoming more valuable due to changes in the law, increasing things like refundable credits, meaning that if you file a fraudulent tax return, you may be getting more of a possible refund than you may have been getting in the past and therefore more targeting in order to try to get that information. So we got to up the security then in that environment. The Security Summit, there's a link to that here. Partners continue to see instances where tax professionals have been vulnerable to identity theft phishing emails that pose as potential clients. So obviously as tax professionals trying to pick up more clients so they can continue with their their virtuous job of saving the world through tax preparation, they're vulnerable to the scammers. Now note these phishing kind of things, you might think of them as like unsophisticated normally because normally we get them in our spam bots and we say, hey, this is clearly spam. And you look at it and you're like, this, how could anybody respond to this kind of phishing email? Because those emails are usually targeted for sending out to a whole bunch of different people and they might be actually deliberately unimpressive or or faulty or look look like like almost spam because the the execution of whatever they need to do in order to complete the scam might be such that they're actually trying to weed out people that would pick that up so in other words if the completion of the scam is that you have to give have someone send you money with a gift card a, as opposed to a credit card or any other kind of payment then you probably want people that are actually going through with the scam that are are more vulnerable to to accept giving money through like a gift card or something like that but if they were to target their scams uh in such a way that they're just trying to get information or access to client data or tax software information then they can do more sophisticated targeted stuff uh which they looks like they're doing towards tax professionals because if they get one hit there then they could get a lot more of a payoff in terms of information they might be able to steal you know tax returns from so in any case the criminals then trick practitioners into opening email links or attachments that infect computer systems with the potential to steal client information it's just hor horrifying it's giving me nightmares the summit uh, also warns tax professionals using cloud-based systems to store and prepare tax returns and information to make sure they use multi-factor authentication in light of recent attacks so some software is actually on your desktop Kind of like that it used to be for microsoft office the word and excel used to be on 
your desktop, the software, and then, and then something like a Google is a cloud-based thing, like Google Sheets or Docs or whatnot. The cloud-based thing you would think would be more accessible for firms that are trying to decentralize their network of employees and so on. But you would think that if someone get access to the cloud, then they get access to all that information on the cloud, which you would think would be a little bit more difficult if you have the kind of software where it's on, on your computer. But uh, you know, there's pros and cons to that. So specifically, uh, the Summit partners urge people using cloud-based platforms to use multi-factor options like phone, text, or tokens. So you should be turning on the multi-factor authentication so you have to log in uh, when it gives you a phone call or something like that and so on. Uh, this can avoid potential vulnerabilities with authentication done just through email, which is easier for identity thieves to access. So they're saying the email, because it's on the same machine, same computer, they might be able to access that as well. If it's on a different device, you would think that'd be more uh, advantageous or difficult to hack. So avoiding these schemes uh, is the second in five part series from the IRS state tax agency and the nation's tax community working together as the security summit that highlight critical steps tax professionals can take to protect client data. The focus of the security summit series, part of the Pro uh, protect your clients, protect yourself campaign is to urge tax professionals to work to strengthen their systems and protect client data. Quote, identity theft scammers continually try to try new schemes to steal client personal and financial information from tax professionals. We continue to see a barrage of emails aimed at tax professionals trying to trick them into providing valuable access to identity thieves, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, and we continue to urge people to use multi-factor authentication. So this is where they're telling you, you know, this, this is they're putting the sign up next to the pool. So you know it's wet in there. Uh, including those using cloud-based services. Constant vigilance is necessary, not just during tax season, but year round. We urge tax pros, both large operations and smaller ones, to consider these invaluable recommendations to help protect their clients and themselves, end quote. So the water's very wet. Phishing emails and SMS texts, known as smishing, that's a catchy word, smishing, attempt to trick the recipient into disclosing personal information such as password, bank account numbers, credit card numbers, or social security numbers. Tax pros are a common target. Those, how dare they, such important people, the tax pros, such good-hearted people saving the world. Anyway, scams may differ in themes, but they generally have two traits. They appear to come from a known or trusted source, such as a colleague, bank, credit card company, cloud storage provider, tax software provider, or even the IRS and other government agencies. They create a false narrative, often with an urgent tone. That's just the common thing of, of any kind of scamming situation, right? You gotta, you gotta you have a trust kind of thing involved or, or, or something that's gonna be a scary thing, intimidation. And then they're going to say that there's a timing issue involved. You need to act now before you actually think it through uh, and, and the panic subsides and you say, hey, wait a sec, this guy's a, not <laughs> someone I should be dealing with. So to trick the receiver into opening or link or attachment. So a specific kind of phishing email is called spear phishing. So here's the, here we go with the spear phishing. Rather than the scattershot nature of a general phishing emails, scammers take time to identify their victim and craft a more enticing uh, phishing email known as a lure. So again, if you see normal emails, you're like, they're just doing a scatter shot, and that's one strategy. It doesn't mean they're stupid just because the email looks stupid because that's the strategy of the, of the scatter shot. And so, but if they're trying to get a bunch of identity information from one person, they, they might then target that one person, which, which means they can have more sophisticated looking emails, which I guess is spear phishing and have a lure and possibly multiple emails before they infect a computer where they can you know, get a lot more information at one time. Scammers often use spear phishing to target tax professionals and a reoccurring and very successful scam, criminals pose as potential clients exchanging several emails with tax professionals before following up with an attachment that they claimed was their tax information. 
So this uh, scam gained energy as many tax professionals worked remotely and communicated with clients over email versus in person or over the telephone uh, because of the pandemic. So clearly this is can be a persuasive strategy. So once the tax pro cl clicks on the embedded URL and or opens the attached mail well, uh, uh, secretly downloaded into their computer, giving thieves access to passwords like client accounts and remote access to the computers themselves. No, this is gonna give me nightmares, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. I'm gonna tell you anyways, even though this is, this is really disturbing me. Thieves then use this malware known as remote access Trojan rat, uh, that's appropriate, to take over the tax professional's office computer system, identi identify pending tax returns, complete them, and e-file them, changing only the bank information to steal the refund. No. In the past, criminals have, have used ransomware attacks to shut down a variety of computers. Here's the old thing. They just shut down your computer and then try to try to blackmail you. It's just horrible. Criminals can use similar smaller scale tactics agents tax pros when unsuspecting tax professionals opens a link or attachment malware attacks the tax pros computer system to encrypt files and the thieves hold the data for ransom. Uh, another emerging scheme the IRS has seen involves weak security from tax professionals using cloud-based systems to store client data. While many cloud-based systems are secure, tax professionals using these should ensure they're using strong multi-factor authentication. So once again, your information's on the cloud, you got the software on the cloud, you got the tax data on the cloud, might be easier to access that if they can get in there, if there's weak you know, uh, codes to get into the, to access it. So the IRS has observed uh, multiple instances frequently involving smaller tax professionals or businesses where individual accounts on cloud-based platforms have been compromised Identity thieves access these and then use existing data from tax returns to file new tax returns seeking refunds frequently by mail. These cloud-based accounts are more vulnerable when tax pros do not use strong multi-factor authentication to validate who is using the platform. Summit partners urge using authentication methods besides email, which can be easier for thieves to access and allow entry into tax professional account. Using text, phone calls, or tokens are safer options. So these scams highlight the importance of basic security steps recommended by the Security Summit to protect data. So here they go. Here's the sign next to the pool. Using two-factor, that's the 2FA, uh, or the multi-factor authentication, that's MFA option offered by tax preparation providers to storage providers would protect client accounts even if passwords were inadvertently disclosed. Keeping antivirus software automatically updated also helps prevent scams that target software vulnerabilities. Using drive encryption and regularly backing up files helps stop theft of ransomware attacks. For tax professionals, securing their data to protect taxpayer data is their responsibility as a tax preparer. So to help tax professionals guard against phishing scams and better protect taxpayer information, IRS Publication 4557 Safeguarding Taxpayer Data, there's a link to that here. This IRS publication contains some of the latest suggestions such as using the multi-factor authentication option offered by tax software products and helping clients get an identity protection PIN. There's something new. It seems like we got that multi-factor authentication like a hundred times here and then they got, but now you got the pen. That's another option that they've been putting in place here. Additional resources. In addition to reviewing IRS publication 4557, safeguarding taxpayer data, there's a link to that here. Tax professionals can also get help with security recommendations by reviewing small business information security, the fundamentals, there's a link to that here by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. The IRS Identity Theft Central page, there's a link to that here. For tax pros, individuals and businesses have important details as well. Publication 5293, Data Security Resource Guide to Tax Professionals, there's a link to that here. It provides a compilation of data theft information available on irs.gov. Also, tax professionals should stay connected with the IRS through subscriptions to e-news for tax professionals and social media 
For more information, go to irs.gov, 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 V for victory over the stupid scammers targeting the salt of the earth tax professionals. It's just disgusting. In any case, there's links to all this stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.